Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's funny channel. Today I am going to teach point of sale system step by step part 21 tutorial. In our last tutorial, we saw the calculation part of point of sale system. In this tutorial, I am going to teach after insert the data here look like this here uh, item will be uh, item number will be one quantity will be two after that i am going to enter another one quantity will be two okay here i enter two data okay da two items here click on the save button record added successfully after click ok here the data row will be not clear here it's still available again notice that the invoice number will be never change it is still 30 13 okay after close this software and again if we open reopen the software then only row has been cleared and invoice number has been changed okay but this is not an efficient way to write the program when you click the save button at the same time the row has been clear and invoice number has been changed the next invoice number has been displayed if it, now it is 14 after you enter all the successfully and click save button here data row has been clear after that again the invoice numbers ne uh, the next number will be 15 will be displayed here okay let me see how to do this task okay okay let's close the software let's move into our coding part here this is the save button double click on this here these codings are working perfectly here this is the last message we got record added okay if you added the record after that if you uh, get the message this one click ok after that what, what you are going to do is here you have to clear the data row okay data row mean this rows you have to clear okay all the data you have to clear okay okay earlier you have to you have you may learn about how to clear the text box if you uh, clear the text box what you are going to do text box one dot clear there, there will be the method clear if you are using that one the text box what are you wrote in, in the text box it will be clear the same thing you have to write in this data grid view also so here you have to write data grid after display this message data grid view one dot yeah what, what you are going to clear row so rows rows mean this rows you are going to clear what are what are the, what are the things you are entering in this rows it has been clear you have to clear the, those those things okay so rows dot clear Okay. you have to call the clear method okay okay let's check if it is working or not okay okay keep in your remember data grid view one mean this one here name will be one okay dot pro dot clear okay let's execute the program and see okay if you click save button record added after that you can you now you can notice that here data row has been clear but here the still number will be never changed it's not changed still it's still 14 okay they at the same time the row uh, when you click the save button row has been cleared and at the same time invoice number have to changed okay so let me see how to do this task okay let's see do this one let's close this program and moving to the coding part again uh, go to the sales okay, this will be the invoice number here so double click on the form you wrote the coding for the invoice number when the form is loaded the invoice number will be displayed here you wrote the coding within the form dot event here you wrote here this will be this will be opening here this here, here you closed okay here open the connection here closed okay you copy this one 
copy sorry cut not copy cut this one invoice number generated you are cutting this stuff okay so something wrong mm, yeah it's ending here cut all the stuff after that what you are going to do is here under the connection object here you have to create the one method which is a public void you have to create your own method which is your invoice let me, uh, let me create your own method which name is invoice here this field uh, symbol is belongs to method when you are creating the method own method you must use the keyword public as uh, public after that void void mean no return types okay here invoice mean your method name okay this will be the your own method okay open the method and close method within the method you have to place the coding here so we be easy to reuse this coding anywhere of the programming so that i wrote my own method okay you have to write method once and you, you can reuse this method by when uh, when wherever in the programming okay here here you are you wrote the method successfully there are no error so here if you start run what happen you see the in, in the invoice number is not coming we see here no invoice number because i remove the coding for the sales load here okay so how to call this one you just call but you write once here here you can call this method with the main what is the method name here we gave invoice okay so you can give the name here within the form uh, load sales form load this form load here this form load you can call this method invoice okay invoice method that's it colon that is the thing you have to do you wrote the method the same method name and method uh, symbol and here colon okay and the statement okay that is the thing you have to do if you click start notice that what happened so you click sales here number will be displayed next number will be displayed successfully but here close it the after insert the record the number will be changed okay that is the thing we have to do so that I want to call this method again within the uh, save button. Okay, same method I am going to copy here again and go to the save part here. After insert the record successfully, record added successfully message uh, come. After that, what happen is data grid rows has been clear. After that, what happen is the invoice number has to change. So here also i call this method invoice that's it so it will be re uh, refreshing after add this record it's uh, go here and what happened is programming clear this one after that i calling this one so that it's automatically clear okay here clear you have to put this method under the con close con close means this database connection is closed here no you have open your close after close you have to put this method that is the thing you have to do okay okay let me check whether it is working or not here you create the method once but reuse twice here also you uh, reuse here also reuse reuse okay that is the purpose of creating your own method you can create the method once and reuse anywhere of the program okay okay let's execute the programming and see here i'm going to enter the item number and quantity when you click save button here uh, notice that if you click this one 
save button here record added successfully after you see the uh, message here go back to the coding view here this will be the message you got now record added after that what i what i did is here data grid view dot pro dot clear i call this method then what happen is click ok here this will be clear here you can notice that number has been changed 16th okay again i am going to enter another one okay, click save button here number this will be changed successfully here 13 the next customer you can uh, give the item and enter and keep on you can add the items okay okay guys i ho i hope you understood this tutorial well now i am going to go to the cancel part of this program okay okay let me see okay okay cancel i already written the coding okay coding in my uh, when i doing this uh, project okay so let me go to our product table what i wrote here this is close so right here what i'm going to do is here also double click on this cancel button here i'm going to write this dot close this dot close mean the current form has been closed if you like uh, this mean this current form this current form mean this is the form which name is this mean this current form dot close if you call the method which is a close the form has been closed that is the purpose of that okay if you click the cancel button that current form has been closed okay okay let me test it if it is working success or not okay okay let's send a uh, john is our username with a password click login login successfully go to the sales here enter the items successfully if you click save button recorded successfully here notice that the invoice number uh, number has been changed successfully if you click cancel here current form will be cancelled successfully okay here every form it will be displayed okay okay guys i hope you you enjoyed this tutorial okay another one thing i forgot to change that is a date time it is not good okay, so let me go here here it's little small okay it's not good okay so here i'm going what i'm going to do is here i'm going to increase the size of the font bold 16 same as this one here what are the for stylized selected 16 okay okay let's so let's start and see how it's look like look let's close it again if you like this one so it is Okay. okay let's here successfully changed time and date okay it's look great okay guys i hope you you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you like my channel please subscribe me thank you for watching